G'day guys. Um, somebody asked me what is the best form of um, B6 to use? Because I've been talking about oxalate dumping and stuff like that and how people can actually have a depletion of B6. Now, B6 um, is a cofactor for 160-plus-odd um, you know, functions in the body. It plays a very important role with methylation, you know, that primary methylation pathway of folate, um, B, B12, and uh, uh, sort of secondary, two secondary roles, um, B6 plus, um, to some extent, um, riboflavin as well. If you've got the MTHFR issue, and I have made a video on that, it's called Methylation Part 1, covers all that if anybody wants to know about it riboflavin is the key thing that restores the activity um normal activity of that um enzymatic pathway uh, for methylation but i won't go there that's not the purpose of this this is primarily that what happens is when people have oxalate dumping they can deplete their b6 in their system because B6 is used to break down oxalate. So that's an issue for a lot of people. Now, the problem is there's a lot of different brands out there that, um, that are, let's say, the majority, you could say, are, pro are pretty much the non-active form. The problem with that is if you've got a methylation problem or you're not getting enough riboflavin, because riboflavin is required to activate it. The same thing for, you know, does it for folate and a number of other things in the body, but we won't get into that. That's not the purpose of this video. But it's critical to convert um, B6 into the active form. The um, peridoxal 5-phosphate. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and what is the best supplement to get? Because current and you know with it within an affordable range as well in that regard. So this is the one that I usually recommend to people when they ask me that question. Uh, there's an iHerb. I, su I suspect it's on other sites as well. Um, and it's this one here. And it's 50 milligrams of the most bio the active form. That's all you need to know. So that's what it's selling for in Aussie dollars, 9.22, which pretty much translates to 9.22 divided by 30. So it's about 31 Aussie dollars, um, which sort of translates to about probably 20 something, 20 odd um, cents. In US dollars, um, probably about half of that, you know, uh, something similar, slightly at the lower end of the 20 for euros in terms of cents. So that's per day. So it's within the affordable range. It's the active form, which is the one we want. So you there it is. Oops, further down. So it's in the 50 milligrams. I don't like people taking more than 50 milligrams of B6. Um, now, a lot of the studies, the epidemiological studies, have looked at people at higher levels, like 100 or over. It's usually due to the non-active form building up in the system because you need to have a flavor and, and people not getting enough not eating enough meat you know we're talking about the sad dieters out there that's what they're basing this research on but still let's play it safe we don't need to get into the excessive levels even at 50 milligrams you're still getting nearly three thousand percent quite a bit um of the rdi so it's halfway there it's completely repriced. I don't like people getting more than 50 milligrams um, of any of the B vitamins um, generally, especially for a long period of time either. 
can cause issues, especially pentathenic acid. But this, this level is fine for oxalate dumping. And since you will burn through quite a bit of B6, this is a good supplement to be used for those purposes for that period. And that should also reduce the symptoms that you get from oxalate dumping because you'll get a, you'll become a more efficient at breaking down oxalate. So you should. So this is what will B6 will have help. So this is the supplement that I do recommend. You know the taurine one that I do, because you do deplete sulfur as well. Oxalate does. To, um, you know the taurine brand. I've done a video, covered that. So you know about that, but people have been, you know, a couple of people, not many, but have been asking about B6, what to get. You want the active form. You don't want the inactive form because it does. Look, some people may have the methylation. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll put a link. I'll put the link in there. Some people may have the methylation issue. And so um, MTHFR. And so they need more riboflavin to support that pathway. And so... That means less riboflavin available to do the conversion, okay? Because it's involved in the folate conversion as well and stuff like that, as I said earlier. But it is critical for this B6 conversion. And since we're getting a lot of depletion of B6 in our system because of, is you know, we get we get enough in our meat. Don't get me wrong, meat's a very one of the best sources of B6, but we don't get enough when we're dumping. We are not ancestral. Now, our ancestors didn't, you know, put all that spinach and whatever else down our throats, okay? Now, we know who we are, you low-carb, um, you know, green munchers. You know, you, like myself, a lot of spinach. So I, I suffered for two years with oxalate dumping, and I know the feeling. You know, I was another green muncher and uh, and suffered for it. Now, some of you are still in those early days of suffering due to past indiscretions on either plant-based diets or keto with too many veg. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. So pretty much this is an affordable, good option to deal, to take on a daily basis to reduce both symptoms and to provide and to um, protect yourself from depletion plus it's the active form which is good so if people have some malabsorption issues still that they're struggling with this is a good one for those purposes as well so that's pretty much it so i'll leave it at that see you